Progress invoicing in QuickBooks Desktop. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University and wanted to go through how to do progress invoicing in QuickBooks Desktop. Now, you know, a lot of people think, okay, well, I only do this if I'm in construction, remodeling, that kind of thing. But, you know, I use it in my business at certain points with uh, as a service business. So there could be a large job. It could just be anything. It, you know, if it's a large job, a large balance, and you need to invoice throughout the project or the work that you're doing, then you want to utilize progress invoicing in QuickBooks Desktop. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So first things first. All right. What we want to do, you need to go to your preferences, which is under edit. Go to preferences. All right. Now you'll see here, you got all these options. We want to go to jobs and estimates and go to the company preferences. And you'll see here, there's an option. It probably will default to no if you have never used it. And so you want to change this to yes. So that's the first step. All right. Now also, and just so you know, as part of the progress invoicing process, you want to, you have to create estimates. And so you want to go ahead and check this. Yes. All right. So we click OK. Now, the important thing to remember is that a progress invoice is generally not done through the normal invoicing process in QuickBooks. So normally you just go you know, to customers and create invoices. You go right here and you get this invoice up on the screen. Now, this was an old one I was playing around with. Now, you can change the template to a progress invoice. So this was one set up and you can set up your own progress invoice and you'll see it brings it all up. But in general, if you're just invoicing a customer for an amount, you're not going to start with a progress invoice. The typical process is you have provided an estimate to the customer. And so you really want to kind of follow that process. It makes it so much easier. I'll show you here in just a second. Okay, so let's go back to the home screen. So the first thing is you need to create an estimate. Now, this video is not going to be about creating estimates, but you see here you can go in. It's very simple to do. Uh, it's just like any other form in QuickBooks. You do the items and you, you know, put in the quantity and everything and send it to the customer. Now, whenever you need to go look at your estimates, you go to the chart of accounts. I have my uh, open windows over here, which is company and you go down to chart of accounts and when you scroll down to the bottom you'll see estimates right here so you can double click this and you can see all the estimates you have out there so let me pull up this one we'll say this is ernesto 12 13 2023 so you'll see okay this is an estimate and it had a change order so this is the estimate of this okay so pretty big estimate all right so when you want to create an estimate you can do uh well, the, the easiest way, let me do it this way, is you just go up here to create invoice. So when you have an estimate and you have it in the system, just go up here and click create invoice. It says you're about to create an invoice from an inactive estimate. Well, I guess I chose the wrong one. Uh, we'll say yes. Okay. All right. So it says specify what to include in the invoice. And this is creating a progress invoice based on the estimate. So you say create an invoice for the remaining amount of the estimate, create an invoice for a percentage. So depending on how you bill, you could say, hey, 25 percent is due uh, now, you know, another 25 percent halfway through and so on. So you can bill just a flat percentage or you can create an invoice for the selected items or for a different percentage of each item. Okay, so these are pretty straightforward. This is just whatever you haven't billed uh, is uh, remaining amount of the invoice. This one is just a flat percentage, and then this one is for selected items. So let me show you how that works real quick because that's kind of the most complicated. All right, so when we bring this screen here, you're going to see show quantity rate, show percentage, and when you read through these columns, you'll see this is everything that was on that this estimate behind us here. And we have the quantity, the rate, the amount, uh, prior amount, if we pull this out, prior quantity, prior amount, prior percent. So this shows you how much has already been billed. So this one, for example, there's a couple things that have not been billed. 
and then you'll see the rate and the amount and the current percent okay so if i say here let me just type in here what you can do is say quantity you want to do this based on the quantity exceeds the amount of the estimate that's okay for this example and let's see those have been built 100 percent so if we go down here for 50 percent we will say there is no let's see quantity prior quantity so we're going to say 0.5 to get that to the full amount and 632.50 okay so you'll see that it's showing the current percent and then the total percent they make these screens really small so you can see everything 100 percent i've got this one over because i put in uh, more than the estimate but you can see the percent that has already been billed okay so this one also has not been billed so we're going to go ahead and put in one and you'll see that changes that to 100 percent okay so as you do this you can choose you can pick and choose now this is generally a little bit more complicated um, a lot of times, at least from what I see, is that certain jobs are set up so they say, you know, you know, maybe 50% down or 10% down and then half, halfway through, and then the remainder when the project is done. And that's a much simpler way to do it. So it's just a blanket one. Now, of course, depending on your business, you may do it this way. So if I do it this way and I click OK, you're going to see that it creates an invoice based on everything that i just said okay so we have the one it's got zeros on all the others because there was nothing there uh, one and so on and point five and so the total invoice 1657 12. that's as simple i mean as as easy as it gets right there to create progress invoicing in the quickbooks desktop uh, it is not complicated any questions any comments feel free to leave those below happy to answer those for you also, head over to the QuickBooks University, take the master class. You will not regret it. The link for that is in the first comment that I have pinned to this video. Look forward to talking to you soon.